I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shoot and Plank. Today we've got the Boomerx M1A1 back with us. And why? Eh, it's kind of a situation. Well, first off, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go down and we've got all of our little K cups stacked up. Why? You might remember the last video we did, we were going to shoot those and this thing just ran out of CO2. Well, I got a request from Doc McKay, who's a well-known air gunner up in Canada. And he says, I was really disappointed. I wanted to see what those would like to get shot at. But what I'm going to do is I'll probably do it in uh, <clears throat> sections, I would say. I'm still getting over that cold, by the way. Um, and uh, in other words, what I'm talking about is I'm not going to go all the way down. and Because I kind of like firing this way with it. That's what we're going to do. Now, what we're going to do from there, I'm not sure. I think we may set up a couple of those outdated Pepsi cans and see what maybe a single one. Anyway, we'll talk about that later. So let's go down here. We're going to take the old Umarex M1A1 down and uh, let's fire a few rounds of BBs at those uh, K cups. Hey, Doc, this one's going to be for you. Uh, make sure we get her ready. We're going to uh, take safety off, get it on full, and let's see what we can do with them. Now, don't take long to use up 30 rounds on this thing, but uh, we didn't go all the way down the way I wanted to. Right? But you can see what it'll do with them. Well, that was the K cups. Now we're going to set up a couple of cans, I think. I know there's still some K cups left over to shoot at too. I might even do that just for the heck of it. Just see what, because what I want to see on this, on these uh, cans, before you'll know that one of them didn't blow up and the other one did blow up. What will it do with a single BB? We didn't do that before. We fired several rounds in a burst, and. Uh, a single one on it? I don't know what it'll do. We're, we're going to find out. We're going to shoot at them. We're going to see actually how accurate this thing is doing too. Um, so let's go down, shoot at those, and then we'll take it from there. Yeah, I've got it uh, switched to single. So uh, let's see what she'll do. This might be interesting. I don't know. Like I said, it's very outdated stuff. It didn't blow at all, but look at that shot right down the middle. We'll hit this one. Though. Same thing. Single shot didn't do it. So, uh, what do you say we try to pick off some of those K cups that are still sitting there? I'm going to do it with a single shot. This thing is very accurate. Is there another one standing? Not really. We'll get one laying down. Just like that. Hit the can again. And there's one standing. There we go. Well, what other damage can we do, huh? Uh, i tell you what. I think we're going to do some uh, boards. Hang on, just some pizza type boards. I want to check something on accuracy on this. Okay, those didn't blow up, did they? I got to shoot at the K-Cups some more. And as I said, we're going to take a cowboard, a cardboard, a cardboard backing like this. It's a pizza thing. And I put a bullseye on it. Boy, I tell you, it's getting windy out here. Uh, and we're going to shoot at that. And the reason I'm doing this is you know usually firearms or air guns like this after you fire about 300 to 500 rounds it's getting broken in somewhat a little bit better on accuracy but this one's been pretty doggone accurate anyway especially on the uh, uh, single shot mode and anything in full auto is not going to be dead accurate but um, what we're going to do is we're going to go down we're going to shoot at this and I'm going to do it 
just single shot. I don't know how many. Me, two, three, who knows. Anyway, it'll be when I get there. And then we're going to fire at it with uh, full auto and see how far out that pattern spreads. If it stays within a circle, say like three, four inches, something like that. Now that's pretty good for full auto if it'll do that. We can see now when I was talking about a board, it's a pizza board, and uh, hopefully I got it up there good enough. And what I'm going to do, as I told you, we're going to go with, uh, put this around so we can fire it. I'm going to go with uh, just single shot first. And we're going to see how it's done. I mean, after as many rounds as we've hired, fired, it's definitely what you would consider break in. And they did hit those cans right on. There we go. I'm not too sure where that hit. I'm sure you can see. I'm going to take another shot at it. Okay, those are the uh, rounds. Let me go down there and take a look. bullseye area I've got and we're going to see now what it will do with uh, full auto if there's a difference I, I got one it's dead center and you can't see it because it's in the red and hopefully I'll be able to show it to you we're going to see what it'll do now it's hitting a little bit off but you know in a grouping with full auto it's not too bad, I guess. Let's see what we can do here. That's it. So now we can go take a look at this. Okay, I came back with the cardboard. Let's see, it was this way. And you know, it's pretty doggone accurate for both. And I told you when we were shooting there that I had hit one dead center. And that was right here. But... When I started firing full auto, there was there was one here, one here, and I think one about here. When I, it might have been over here, one here and here and here. When I shot the three single shots, I think it was three. Anyway, then on full auto, and you can re. I'll turn this around in just a second. Full auto took off and then went over this way. It doesn't. In fact, the funny. Th yeah, that's what it did. It. And it'll do that. It'll pull one way. But see, it still stayed within this. And most of the rounds on full auto were hitting right in here. Because look at this. You see that hole? Yep, that's where they went through. You can see where they blasted. There's where you can see the grouping right there when you look at it on the back. And for full auto, it's not too bad of a grouping. In fact, it's much better. Well, not a whole lot of difference, but a little bit different. Um, then when we fired the first rounds, which you have to go back and look at that uh, other video we did, because that hit some here in the center too, but not this much. I mean, that's 30 rounds in all, right in there. And three of them, we know, and the one was just like I've fired about every time, because you remember those cans. I think I'm going to get one of those cans that we fired just here just a little bit ago. I got a cake up at the same time. I'll talk about that in a second here. If it stays put. That's how windy it's getting. It's getting bad here. And I'm hoping that that windscreen, this is that new microphone that I did the video on, if you've seen that. Uh, here. This is how accurate this is. When I shot at that pop can, I remember I shot another round at it and later. Both of them. Right in the center, just about on top of one another. So that dark gun, gun, especially on single, is extremely accurate and I'd say it's very accurate for full auto because as you've seen I mean we've re-drilled out that middle. Now we shot these well I also shot them I guess on some signal shots but we shot these full auto and uh, that one's pretty much there too and I was trying to that's why I did the burst so I could be a little bit more accurate on it because I wanted to see what they did but that's another thing that gun is accurate enough that when you got a grouping like that unless you take it and you can do it at the right speed going down you're probably not going to take them all out 
Um, in fact, uh, we'll do that. I'll try just this way. And if it's not the right speed, you'll see. Just Well, let's take a quick shot with it because I've still got her loaded up. Let's just fire those and see how that works. Okay, Doc, this one's going to be for you. Uh, take this, uh, put it into full auto, which I have not done yet. And we will back around in, take it off safe, and we'll see what it does with all of those. Okay, you've seen how it did. It's just like I'd said, uh, without doing it on a burst, and I don't like it. Heck, I'm just going to lay this thing down. Instead of every time putting it up there like I've been doing. Um, putting it around here. Because we're not going to do any more shooting now anyway. She's empty. Uh, I got it on safe. And to make sure she's totally safe, as you will. You've seen this in the first video. Right here, you push this up. And you pull the magazine out. There it is right there. And there's no more BBs even in it there. There's no BBs you can see down the follower. It's completely empty there. So, uh, yeah, she's empty. She's not going to fire. And, like I said, it's also unsafe. So we're going to lay that right there. Anyhow, you've seen what it does. If you do it in bursts, like I said, put up, put up, put up, you're probably going to get them, most of them, down the line like that. If you just know the right speed, and you want to swing fast, or how I did with there, it got them, but it didn't get them the way I wanted it. And I guess Doc got to see him shot again. Um, anyway, that's what we did with it. This was kind of a request. Plus, as I said, when I started thinking about it, I wanted to see just how it's done after having, well, after we've shot it today, and we've shot another, what, 90? probably about 90 rounds again today because every time you shoot it on full auto you're taking up 30 rounds so yeah we've got to have good 500 rounds already fired in this thing doing great it's a lot of fun i tell you it really is and you'll notice i added this sling sometime back and that's so that i can take it like this and wrap it bring my hand around as you can see and that helps you on your accuracy too because you're studying your gun. You're using this right here. You just want to adjust the strap, right? And I had this strap for another rifle. I didn't like it. But for this, it's called a never loss. And I guess it's because it's got all that orange. You're not supposed to lose it. I know, it doesn't match up with a World War II type of a, of a gun. But, uh, and again, this is a, one of the Legend series. So it's a replica. And, uh, and it reshoots great. It's a BB gun. I mean, what more? It, it's just a lot of fun. You're shooting BBs, and you know, it's going to be less cost on ammunition. Of course, you get CO2. And by the way, I'm going to mention it again, as I have before, I use, well, I guess I don't have a box sitting there. I use Umarex CO2. And uh, the Umarex CO2 really seems like a last well. It shoots good, it has a lot of good power to it. Um, I've just been very, very happy with the Umarex, not just those, but also the steel BBs. We shot Umarex steel in here for this, and I like the Hornady, the Hornady Black Diamond BBs. I really, really like those. Between those two, those are my favorites. So until next time, shoot safe, and have a great day of planking.